All right. Welcome to another quick tip this month on the EV show. Uh, I guess today we're going to be bottom balancing batteries. So let's get started. Uh, Michael did a very good job here at putting this guy together. Pretty simple device. Um, you're going to be able to use this on pretty much uh, most of the batteries that you want to bottom balance. You can do it on, you know, prismatics. Uh, you can do it on 18650s like I'm going to do here. The only thing that you have to keep uh, in mind is that your battery has to be of a certain size. Since this guy will pull somewhere around 20 to 30 amps, your battery has to be big enough so that it doesn't stress out at that load. Uh, for example, you won't be able to do a single 18650 uh, and then bottom balance that battery. I mean, you can do it, but this guy is really not going to like it. It's going to get too hot. It's going to become a fire hazard. You're actually going to ruin the battery. And so it has to be somewhere around probably, uh, like if, if the battery doesn't like anything more than 1C, so it's, this is 20 to 30 amps. So your battery has to be somewhere around one and, a, one and a half times bigger than that. So you're looking at about 50 amp hour cell uh, as your minimum uh, to be able to uh, bottom balance it with this. So let's get started. It's actually pretty simple. Once this guy is uh, put together, then you basically just connect it to your battery. In this case, I'm going to do this giant brick here that you guys seen me before put together. This is... Uh, 150 18650 cells uh, and so it should be around 300 amp hours and so we're gonna use this as our test battery to put it to bottom balance it so the negative goes to the negative you gotta make sure you 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 create good contact because there's gonna be quite a bit of load going on here and it could get hot all right so we heard a little beep and um, this guy here is basically telling us that the battery is at 3.9897 volts. So it turns out this battery is f almost fully charged. And since it's 300 amp hours, it is going to take quite a bit of time. So we don't have that kind of time right now. And you guys don't want to sit and, you know, here watching this thing forever. So we'll just show you this next month and see how we did. We're going to run this whole thing all the way to the bottom until it gets to 2.7 or, or the alarm goes off. And then we'll do a little time lapse. And then you guys get to see uh, how this went. Uh, you can right away start to feel that, that there is a little bit of heat coming out of here. I bet you with the, after a few minutes, the, the heat is actually going to be quite substantial so you got to make this you gotta make sure you put this somewhere where it's not gonna uh you know get into get you into trouble um but with this shield here it shouldn't be too much of a deal like uh, uh here like on this table for example it should be uh perfectly fine welcome to another quick tip segment on the ev show last month we started bottom balancing this battery but it was fully charged 300 amp hours, so it was gonna take forever. Finally, after many hours, it's finally where we want it to be, around 2.7 volts. So, after this charge, it bounced back up to three volts, and then today we connected it again, and it was there for a few minutes, and then once again, it reaches 2.7 volts. At which point, if you're doing something else, you hear the chime, and you come back and you disconnect it because your battery is done. So when you buy these parts and you put together this piece, uh, you just have to make sure that the chime is outside of the box or you make a hole in the box. It looks really nice and neat inside, but as I realized the first time, the chime doesn't really sound that loud. And so what you want is for this guy to be loud enough for you to be able to walk away go about your day, be productive, and still be able to uh, hear the chime when it's finally ready to go. Now, okay, some viewers have asked if this device can be automated. And the short answer is yes, you could uh, put together a bunch of parts and, and, and do something that's automated, right? But about a year ago, uh, others figured out that uh, 
If you do that, it ended up costing more money and more time and uh, possibly frustration than just buying something off the shelf like this. This is a, a Power Lab uh, 6 or there's another Power Lab 8 that essentially does the same thing and is cheaper than making the automated version of, of, of this device. Of this. And actually this does more because this charges your battery. You can, you can charge multi-cell batteries. You can discharge multi-cell batteries. And so, you know, for the, for the money, this is better than building your own automated uh, system. Uh, you gotta also remember that you're only gonna bottom balance once probably or twice. And so you don't wanna spend too much money uh, on, on something that you're not going to use a lot. It's just going to sit on your, on, your, uh, on your desk or on your shelf for a long time. So this, what we built here last month, was, is a simple and affordable device to allow you to do that. Um, so this is how this device works. Uh, make sure you keep the chime outside and have some fun bottom balancing your batteries.